America Natividad at Toronto Pearson International Airport, where tonight multiple passengers continue to show up who are scheduled to fly out with WOW Airlines tonight, but they haven't realized that the discount airline has actually declared bankruptcy and ceased operations. Now, with the fallout from WOW Airlines, many passengers may feel reluctant to book in the future with discount airlines. So tonight we're going to take a look at whether it is more risky and what Canadian travelers can do to protect themselves. It feels much like deja vu. Just months ago, back in October, hundreds of passengers were left stranded at airports after low-cost Danish airline Primera Air declared bankruptcy, abruptly ceasing all operations. Gabor Lukash heads an advocacy group for air traveler rights and stresses the issue of bankruptcy isn't unique to discount airlines. I would be very hesitant to to uh, draw a conclusion here about a discount airline. The issue here is the stability of the airline. This could happen to a non-discount airline as well. Last month, regional British airline Fly BMI collapsed, cancelling hundreds of flights on short notice and leaving hundreds more stranded around Europe. But in Europe, the regulations around passenger protection are far more stringent, and Canada is just now catching up. If you looked at the Wow Air uh, report this morning or the communication that they sent to the customers, you know, they clearly made the difference between the Europeans who booked over there and the others. In December, the Canadian government released proposed regulations for airline passengers, regulations that the CEO of the Canadian Transportation Agency said were comparable to the European Union's. Included in the draft were greater protections in cases of delayed and cancelled flights, as well as financial compensation. The new regulations haven't been finalized yet. Dimash advises that until those regulations come into effect, Canadian travellers should always be more cautious. Read the fine print, book with an accredited travel agent, and get travel insurance for all the unexpected costs that come with being stranded. That's something that very often people don't do because they feel like, why should I book it? You know, I know exactly when I'm flying. I'm not going to change my flight, etc., etc. The low-cost airline uh, customers, you know, wants to lower the cost. So usually they would skip that insurance. Now, the final regulations uh, surrounding air passenger protection aren't expected to come into effect in Canada until this summer at the earliest.